Hi there. So welcome to another video on uh, management accounting and we're looking at practice questions in management accounting to assist you to understand the concept and also to help you to prepare well for the examination. If you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe to the channel, click the bell notification so that anytime we release videos like this, you'll be the first person to be notified. And remember to comment below with any questions that you are having, topics that you want us to cover, or maybe some specific questions that you want us to solve on this channel during our live broadcast session or our uh, in-class sessions, we will solve those questions to assist you so you can become uh, successful. So today, uh, in this video, we want to cover uh, a video or uh, a, a discussion on break-even analysis. Remember in the last, in the previous video, I mentioned or we solved the question under the assumptions of break-even analysis, so it will be great for us to top it up with uh, a question on break-even proper so you see how we can uh, do break-even in totality in relation to that. Remember also that you can click the link below this video and you will download the questions or if you are watching this on my study portal you can check the link just under this video and you can get access to the questions as well. So. The requirement of this question is quite bulky. In total, it's 25 marks. Let me go through the requirements and so we have an idea of what is happening here. A, it says, how many bottles of Habisa should have been sold by Jiwa Limited if it wanted to break even and what would have been the total sales revenue? And what would have been the total sales revenue? revenue okay so in the a aspect of the question the examiner is asking us to calculate the break-even units and also the break-even value okay the break-even in units and the break-even in value that's a b it says assuming GWAB limited was expecting a before tax profit of sixty thousand dollars it is how many bottles of habisa should have been sold Okay, so this is unit for a targeted profit. Okay, unit for a targeted profit. Then the C says determine the margin of safety of Jiwa Limited in its first year of operation. Okay, so we are determining margin of safety. So the first thing the examiner is asking us is to do break even points, and first we will do it in units. And as you know already, break-even points in units is going to be your fixed cost, okay, divided by contribution per unit. Fixed cost divided by contribution per unit. That is how you get a break-even point in unit. Then, break-even point in value is going to be fixed cost divided by contribution per unit times the selling price okay times the selling price so that is also your break-even point in value the break-even point in value then it says the B aspect says the sales for targeted profits so sales units for the targeted profit is going to be face cost okay plus your target profit divided by contribution per unit. Okay? The sales unit for the targeted profit is going to be your first cost plus targeted profit divided by contribution per unit. Then the last one there is the margin of safety. As you know already, the margin of safety is the, the maximum output minus the break-even point in units, okay? The maximum output minus the break-even point in units. Now, usually what happens in break-even analysis is that, for instance, this is how the diagrams look like, the diagram look like. So we have a face cost. So we have our uh, revenue there. And we have our total cost coming up there. So this point is the break-even point. This is a loss-making region. 
This is where the prophet begins to step in. So this point, for information, in Lebanon, this is output, or if you want units, and this is uh, value, and that is in currencies. So the point at which the total revenue curve is equal to the total cost curve is the break-even point. Okay, is the break-even point. So this is break-even point in units, and this is your break-even point in value. So, as far as you are producing below the break-even point, that is from zero to the break-even point units, you are making a lot. You are making losses. You are not making any profit. You are not making any money as an organization. But when you hit the break-even point, this is where, like, you've broken even. So your total revenue is equal to total cost. You didn't make profit, you didn't make loss. The money you put in, you got all the money. It's a, okay. But the sweet spot is, the region refers to as the MOS, that is the margin of safety. That is the point at which you start towards making profit. So if your maximum output is here, if you have your maximum output here, and you subtract your maximum output, you take your break-even point in units from your maximum output. That gives you the margin of safety. So you have your maximum units, and you subtract the break-even point in units, and that gives you the margin of safety. So these are the ideas about what you must understand in relation to break-even. So as we have the maximum output here, let's just be hypothetical. So let's say we have 10,000 here, this is the maximum unit we want to produce during the period. So let's say from our computation, we derive the break-even point in units at say um, 8,000 units. It means that the unit of 2,000 becomes the margin of safety. It means anytime we produce above 8,000 units, we are going to start to make what? Profits. But a big question we ask ourselves is, okay, how much money is that money? Okay, how much money is that unit? So we're going to have margin of safety also in value, okay? And that is going to be somewhere here, and that's maximum revenue. So the difference between that will be the margin of safety in value. So the MOS here is margin of safety in units. So I could do the other one. That will be maximum revenue minus break-even points in what? Revenue. That's what it means. So for this 100,000 units, what is our selling price? Let's say our selling price is $1. So maximum will be $100,000. So break even points in value from here. Let's say it's um, 82000 So it means our margin of safety will be somewhere around 18000 Ghana cities in relation to that. So diagrammatically, this is how we present our break even analysis. We could do the computation and present it on the graph like that, hardly would the examiner ask us to do that, but it is something that you must understand. But if you are doing that in a simple thing, all you have been given in the question, just substitute them into it in relation to that. This is your face cost. Okay, so having had the understanding from the question, these are the things we are going to be doing. Break even point in units, break even point in value, sales for targeted profit. Usually, this one is not uh, really represented on the diagram because it's the unit that we would want to sell in order for us to make a certain profit. For instance, if we, uh, I'm producing Sobolo and uh, I, I want to make a profit of $10,000 every day on the Sobolo, the question is, how many units must I sell in order for me to make $10,000 as a profit every day? That is a sales unit for the targeted profit in relation to that. So that is not represented on the diagram, but the rest could be represented on the diagram. So that is the understanding about that. And we'll go into the question and you see how we will use these concepts in order to solve the question.